that's the reality which is the chapter one and the last para on what is the growth outlook and why when everybody is saying seven seven point two etc why is this guy saying six point five to seven we are not pessimistic we are actually very optimistic about growth but we are also mindful of the challenges which i listed to you about the way the monsoon has progressed about how since we wrote the interim economic survey so to speak in january where we were more confident about seven percent since then the global environment has become even more polarized and financial market valuations are much more elevated so given that we feel seven percent is doable but yet we want to be not necessarily cautious but somewhat prudent in projecting we would rather be very pleasantly surprised than being forced to face disappointments and that is why we are projecting a growth rate of between six and a half and seven and last year when we and i stood in front of you in january 23 at that time also i was cautious in my growth projection in fact i said the downside risks would dominate the upside for FY24, but I was very happy to be proven wrong. Because one thing you can be very certain of is that almost all GDP forecast, growth forecasts eventually turn out to be wrong. And that is the reality, whether it is the international institutions or individuals or uh, economics division in DEA in government of India. But we have to give an estimate to give a sense of direction and we feel that while 7% is eminently doable, there are some risk factors given the way the monsoon has shaped up and financial market risks are rising in the developed world with the spillover effects on India and also the global geopolitical environment. And these are the risk factors I just now mentioned to you. But one thing we are very clear about, I don't know how many of you have heard of the Stockdale paradox. If you haven't, I encourage you to pick up a copy of Jim Collins's Good to Great and read about the James Stockdale Paradox, the American uh, uh, military officer who was captured by the Vietnamese rebels, but who managed to survive his detention in Vietnamese prison and came out alive compared to many of his contemporaries. So that is the Stockdale Paradox. And the paradox is that we are upbeat about India's prospects, but we are also aware of the challenges and the external environment and the headwinds that we find ourselves in. If you look at what we have come through, we have come through with a 35 times increase in nominal GDP in rupee terms from about 6,000 rupees to 2.12 lakhs in the last 30 plus years. In dollar terms, despite rupee depreciating by about 3% every year, we have come from $348 to $2,500. So we have come through different global environments, different domestic environments, different political arrangements, etc. And still the long-term trajectory is very clear. So we can get where we want to get and we will get there far better if we are aware of the kind of challenges we face. And that is the core message of the economic survey as well. And let's also be very clear that India is extremely unique. And this word unique is cliched, very widely used, but it very well fits India. No country of this size in terms of geographical spread, population size, has managed to attempt the kind of transition or transformation within the democratic framework with 28 states, multiple languages, and a huge, hugely ancient civilization, etc. And the country internally has many different countries within it. So we are attempting a transformation to become a developed nation. Given this kind of context we have, and given the kind of global uh, headwinds that we face, and therefore we remain very upbeat but we also are aware that we need to basically do the detailed grunt work that will take us from here to there. Because what brought us from $348 to $2,500 in the last 30 years when the world was very different will not be the one that will take us from $2,500 to $10,000. And that awareness is what we try to convey in the economic survey.